South Dakota State's quest for an FCS National Championship ended Friday night as the Jackrabbits fell to North Dakota State 44-21 in the semifinals. The Jacks hung tough with the Bison for a half, trailing 14-7 going into the third quarter. But NDSU scored on its first five possessions of the second half en route to the 44-21 victory. This was the second straight year SDSU fell in the semis, and the loss ends the careers for 13 Jackrabbit seniors who leave Brookings as the program's all-time winningest class, while the Bison advanced to their seventh championship game in the last eight years. They're fast, they fly around to the ball, um, so I mean credit to them. Because uh, you know they, they play their tails off. That's why, you know, they, they've won so many championships uh, in the years past, and you know they're going to be playing the first game next year uh, in January this year too. Proud of our program, being in the semifinals for two years in a row. Uh, infinitely more proud of the senior class that led a team uh, that that no one believed in at the start of the season and uh, and had a chance to make some history. SDSU finished this, the season with a 10-3 record. The South USD women's basketball team is off to a 9-1 start and have won seven in a row, including a pair of back-to-back -back key non-conference wins over Green Bay and Iowa State. The Coyotes had a chance to continue their impressive start to the season as they traveled to Columbia to take on the 22nd-ranked Missouri Tigers. And USD would earn another big win at second AP Top 25 win of the year as they knock off Missouri 74-61. Kira Duffy led the way with 20 points. Monica Ahrens added 13, and older sister Allison finished with 11. The 10 1 Coyotes play next as a three game set at next week's Puerto Rico Classic. And the Augustana women won their sixth game in a row as they defeated Minnesota Crooks in 86 54 in Sioux Falls. The Vikings moved to 4 0 in NSIC play with the win. Senior Shelby Sellen led the way with 27 points and 14 rebounds. The Vikings played Bemidji State Sunday afternoon with tip off scheduled for 12 30. The Augie men hosted Minnesota Crookston at the Sioux Falls Arena. Opening half, Tyler Reimers backs his way down, spins, and uses the window for some help. As he scored the Vikings' first eight points, he finished with 22. Augustana out front, 8-5. On the heels of a 5-0 Crookston run, Augie regains the lead as former Sioux Valley Cossack Trevor Hansen catches, and the big fella shows off the range as he catches in for three of his 17. Vikings up one. A few possessions later, Tate Vincent drives the paint, kicks to Dylan LeBrun. The Flandreau native tickles the twine from deep. He had seven. Matt Cartwright led the way with 37, and Augie wins his third straight, 91-76. Warner played South O'Brien of Iowa in girls basketball at the Edith Sanford Classic. Ashley Fishbach finds Lori Rogers near the free throw line. She'll drive to the hoop and finish with the left hand. The senior had a game-high 23 points. Warner up two. Ensuing Monarch possession, Keeley Fishback's going to swing it to Sydney Laidholt. She's going to splash in the triple. Laidholt finished with 16 points and was a perfect 3 for 3 from beyond the arc. Monarch's up 5. Later, Rogers finds Keeley Fishback open. She'll spot up and knock down the mid range jumper. Monarch's had five different scores and double figures en route to the 73 59 victory over South O'Brien. Another girls' hoops matchup pitting O'Gorman against Hopkins, Minnesota. O'Gorman's a Wodi Okoy with the ball in the post. She'll keep the pivot foot down, step around the D, and gets the tough bank shot to fall. She had seven points. Knights trail 4 2. After Hopkins stretched the lead to 12, O'Gorman gets it back to within single digits as Emma Ronsick takes the feed and puts the bucket away, plus the foul. She had a team high 20 points. But Hopkins featured one of the top players in the country in Paige Beckers, and she showed why she drains the NBA range three-pointer. She led all scorers with 30, and Hopkins defeats O'Gorman 81-41. to The Stampede played Green Bay, looking to extend its point streak to five. Scoreless in the first, Ethan Phillips in all alone on the goalie, but he's denied on the breakaway by Jake Begley. This game remains tied at zeros after a period. Ahead to the second, the Stampede are short-handed. Blake Bride's going to keep it himself on the 2-1 and one and goes barred down for the short-handed goal as Sioux Falls grabs the 1-0 lead. Then later in the period, Jared Westcott's going to take the puck out wide. He'll drive to the net. and First try's no good, but the second try, he's going to sneak the puck past Begley. Stampede score four in the second and earn another two points with the 6-1 victory. Also, Morningside won the NAI National Championship in football as they defeated Benedictine College 35-28. And that's a look at sports.